the celebration of creativity that we see in these remarkable works displayed here today is made possible by the Candace Berman Gallery's drive and intention to develop young and lesser known artists, champion established ones and grow the market for African art. Certainly one such familiar name is Stompy Celebi, an artist that has long been supported by the Candace Berman Gallery and who is described by Candace herself as being the primary pioneer of the revival of the neo-expressionist movement in the South African context. Celebi's works, as with neo-expressionism, journeys inward in what appears to be a deep searching of the soul, an expression of the human condition. Candace describes it as a daring re-emergence and fusion of abstraction and the figurative and perceives it as a healthy and long overdue counter to the dominant fixation with art as a weapon of struggle or a medium for ideology. Neo-expressionism developed as a reaction against conceptual art and minimal art of the 1970s. The artists returned to portraying recognizable objects such as the human body in a rough and violently emotional way, often using vivid colors. This style is repeated by Celebi, but for very different reasons. It is an expression of ultimate freedom and breaks away from the oppression and confinement of what has been previously witnessed in South African art. I, I look at how to build up uh, a foundation, meaning that how do I build up a texture on creating dynamic of elements, different kinds of elements that sort of evolve into an image. I'm more looking at movement, light and dark. I, I, I allow myself to, to play. I allow myself to, to work with the, the challenges that I'm facing at that moment. And it becomes defined as I work around detailing and the finishing. That's where I become more specific what the image says. You know, often people would ask me, why watches? And I'll, I'll, you know, I'll say one sentence, you know, I said, we're living in different times. And I think for me that those are things that I drawn from my surroundings and then interpret them in, 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 a, in a very artistic way, in a creative way to find meaning, what, what, what these confusion means to me artistically. It tells a, a different narrative for me and, and for the viewers as well. Using mixed media on paper, Celebi's work is raw, whimsical, and has an intense subjectivity. One understands the work, not because it is self-explanatory, but rather because of its way of appealing to our intuition. We recognize the psyche of the artist in ourselves. It is a more visceral, authentic approach to art and sends us into the depths of the known unknown, the said unsaid. Dramatically emotional, Celebi's art appeals to our most suppressed human yearnings, be it psychological, spiritual, or primitive and raw. And Celebi achieves this in an exemplary way with his distorted yet arresting images. This approach, which delves so deeply into the subconscious and celebrates viscera, allows us also to experience the undeniable materiality of its expression. Freedom of thought, expression, and art should never be edited, controlled, oppressed. And in the words of Candace Berman, this approach is the art form which will restore to art its sacred and profane purpose and occupation. Mm -hmm.